What's happening YouTube? Caliber here. We're here to do another Epic 7 video. We're going to be covering some patch notes here. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right in here and talk about some of those. And uh, yeah, let's see what this is all about. All right, we have Luluke here, guys. Very, very awesome unit. She's an Ice Elemental uh, Mage. She's Aquarius. She has an S1 that has a defense break on there. She has an S2 that has a defense buff with a bubble for the whole entire team. And then an S3 with an AoE defense break. Uh, she's a pretty good unit. A lot of people actually use her because her morale is really, really good in Labyrinths. So maybe that's something you want to do. You want to take her on a raid or something like that. Maybe she's the missing link you need. Uh, you might want to hop over to a morale calculator and see if she's a unit you're really, really wanting. Um, she does take a little bit of investment, though, to make her great. Her artifact, Spirit's Breath, here is 50% chance, 100% uh, chance to decrease skill cooldown by one turn when you're using a non-attack skill. It doesn't work with a lot of characters. Um, she's one of them. I can't think of any of the other ones off the top of my head, but there's a few of them. All right, we have Melissa here. She's a fire mage, and she's a Leo. Uh, Melissa is a great, great unit, man. Uh, overpowers the enemy with 60% chance to make them unhealable for one turn. Damage don't increase proportional to caster's lost health. Uh, her S2 is where it matters, though. Attacks that unleash their inner rage, granting immortality to the caster for one turn. Skill cooldown is reset when the enemy is defeated. So you can reset the skill cooldown um, and get immortality. Um, dispels, uh, this, this S3 here, dispels all buffs from the enemy before attacking and releasing a pent-up aggression, cursing for two turns. With a critical hit, granting a, a caster an extra turn. This, uh, skill is unaffected by elemental disadvantage. Elite or boss monsters can't be cursed. So, one thing a lot of people do with this, they go in here with the S3, they hit, they dispel, they hit them with the curse. If it doesn't quite kill them, um, when they hit another character with manifestation here, there's a good chance that they're going to go ahead and take out the other unit that has the curse on them. Uh, also, uh, if you defeat another enemy with this, GG, you get yourself a school cooldown of uh, immortality the whole entire round. Very awesome unit. She also comes with Bloody Rose. Increased effectiveness by 60% on a single attack. So every time you S... Every time you do a single attack, you have 60% effectiveness, which is actually pretty powerful. Uh, that's pretty, pretty decent. It's not, uh, it's not the best. It's, it's a decent artifact at, at most. Not something I would go freaking pulling like crazy on. Update notice, guys. This is all the information we need. We got side stories of the Chosen Shaman happening. Luluka side story. We can go in there and do that. We can get some special stuff here. Get a little bit of a uh, little bit of farm mode going on. Uh, picking up some uh, fighter metals, orders and insignia, leather sheaths, uh, Mulagora seeds, all that good stuff. All of your common regular shop items are there. Go there, wipe out the shop, call it a day, guys. Go for the drop up rate of Lulica Spirit's Breath, uh, drop up rate of Melissa Bloody Rose. Like I said, both of them are 121. And it's just a bug and improvements and bug fixes here. Uh, Hunts. 12 and 13 statistics will be added. Guys, if you guys are waiting for the new hunt improvements, those do not happen to the 30th. Unfortunately, it is not the 30th yet. It is the 22nd. So, uh, yeah, we still have another week to go before we can get those sexy, sexy Wyvern 13 hunt 13 buffs that get rid of all that nasty 70 gear, guys. So that's going to wrap up these patch notes. Um, you know what? Would I pull for Melissa if you're looking for that nice little one and done character? Uh, Melissa is a very, very solid unit, especially if you invest in her. She's really, really, really good. Um, and then Lulica, I, I feel the same way th about Lulica, um, but more in a PvP, uh, PvE um, point of view. I think she's a great PvE unit. Um, I think she's okay in PvP. She doesn't like shine shine like crazy i mean people do use her but i do feel like she's a really really solid pvp unit so i would definitely um I, I, pvp pve unit i would definitely look into possibly checking out some morale seeing that she fits in your team perfect and stuff like that with that being said guys go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and it, if you guys like these notes man um leave a comment below what did you think what are you excited about these two banners uh, are you excited for the hunt changes coming up? If so, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great day.